in this week's Torah portion of Akev. So we're in Devarim, Deuteronomy chapter 8. Moshe reminds the Jewish people that for the last 40 years, they've been miraculously protected by a cloud. They've been miraculously fed by manna from heaven and by a well. They've been miraculously clothed in clothing that never wore out. But now everything's going to change. They're going to enter the Holy Land at the end of 40 years. And they're going to start working. And many of them are going to become wealthy. And Moshe cautions them. He says, you may say to yourself in your heart, Kochi v'otsam yadi, my strength and the might of my hands, Osalias ha'chayel hazeh, made me this treasure. And that's a problem, like the famous joke. A guy has a make it or break it business deal, but he needs financing. The potential financier or venture capitalist says to him, meet me tomorrow morning in my office at 9 a.m. If you're late, I can't see you. So he leaves extra early, gets into the city, but there's traffic, so instead of 8.30, it's 8.40. But he pulls into the lot, the lot's packed. No spots, there's a conference going on. Next lot, no spots. Next one, no spots. He's looking for a parking spot. It's 8.45, it's 8.50. Now he's in a full-blown panic. In desperation, he cries out, God, you know how important this deal is to me. I'm begging you, find me a parking spot. God, I'll do anything. I'll keep kosher. I'll keep Shabbat. As soon as he finishes his prayer, boom, two car lengths ahead, a guy pulls out. He's got a spot. Immediately, he looks up. He says, God, forget it. I found the spot. I don't need you. Now, that's an extreme example of someone not recognizing God's hand in his success. But it raises the question, if I work very hard and I have an excellent idea and I carry it out and execute it to perfection and it works and I'm successful and I make money, can I feel good about that? Is any degree of self-congratulation allowed? Can I give myself a little pat on the back? Well, Moshe tells us in that same chapter in the next passage, he says, remember, God gave you the strength to make that wealth. So it seems like it is okay to indulge a little bit of that psychic satisfaction after a job well done if we invite God to the party and we think about the partnership that we had. What did I put into it and what did he put into it? Well, let's see. I put in capital and blood and sweat and my tears. Well, what did he put in? Well, he gave me my talent, he gave me my strength, he gave me my brain, the most complex machine in the universe. And what about those systems that I used along the way? Skeletal, muscular, digestive, circulatory. Those were important also. So when I start to weigh it out, I realize that God, my silent partner, put an awful lot into that partnership. And so I ought to recognize a tremendous debt of gratitude. But further, he also decreed my success. The same God that showered manna down on our forefathers in the desert is the same God that showers success on us. Any degree of success, every dollar, comes from him. You worked hard, someone worked harder. You had a great idea, somebody had a better idea. You're a smart guy, somebody's smarter. And yet, they weren't successful. And you were, because God decreed it. Yet another reason to thank your silent partner. So how do you know when your celebration goes over the line and you've over-celebrated yourself and under-celebrated God? Well, if an NFL referee were there and he were watching your post-success victory dance and he'd throw the flag for excessive celebration, you're probably overdoing it. Maybe you ought to tone it down. Maybe a Tebow, a celebration combined with a prayer thanking God and recognizing his role, his contribution to that partnership. Or maybe, like the great Chicago Bears running back Walter Payton used to say, when you get to the end zone, act like you've been there before. Don't overdo it. To which I'd add, when you get to that end zone, remember Moshe's words. Remember, God gave you that strength to make that wealth. Remember how you got to the end zone and remember who got you there. Hatzlacha.